Guskin Duo is a notoriously annoying fight, mainly because you're fighting two bosses that don't really take turns while attacking. The other annoying thing about them is when you defeat one, the fight isn't even close to over. They can summon each other back. Even if they are both defeated, one will be spawned back because the boss's health is not completely depleted. Almost everyone knows how this boss fight works, but how is the actual health bar for the boss factored in, and what is it attached to? Well, looking inside the unpacked game, we can see what's going on. Here we have both of the god skins. Going back and forth, we can see that an enemy is getting skipped. This enemy also has the same ID as the Godskin Apostle with the instance incremented by one. And I found where this mystery apostle is hiding. Under the map below the boss room, we find the other boss. This is the true Godskin Duo boss. This is the health bar. Fighting the boss normally, we can kind of get a gauge on how much damage to one of the god skins affects the overall health bar. Next, I will change the base HP of just the god skin noble. Heading back into the game, we can see that it basically has no health. The percentage of health we do to the god skin noble is not reflected the same to the overall health. This means the overall health bar is affected by flat damage. Not the number of times you defeat one of the duo, as well as not being related to the percentage of health one of the duos lose. I'll show what it looks like to change the Apostle to 1 health as well. The health change is consistent upon respawn as well. Now what if we change the base HP for the Apostle under the map? We do a ton of damage to the overall health bar. The boss fight would be finished before the noble even gets to half health. And changing it all the way down to one gives us an instant boss kill on hit. When we change the absorption ratings for one of the puppets, so in this case lightning absorption, we see that this makes the noble take more damage, which means the big health bar also takes more damage. Same if we do the reverse for absorption. However, if we change the absorption values for the Underground Apostle, there is no change when we attack the duo, showing that the Apostle under the map really is nothing more than a health bar to subtract damage from. Another thing that has an effect with these two is changing the team type. If we change him from enemy to boss, we can see that they can damage each other. Having another model of a boss outside the maneuverable area of a map is pretty common for games. For example, there's a raid boss in Destiny 2 that uses this same setup. Many enemies in the playable area that all share the same health bar, but the real health bar is outside the map. A lot of times separate models aren't even used as health bars. For example, the Horlu model is just waiting outside the map to be summoned once Godfrey reaches half health. Anyways, I hope someone learned something new with this. If not, I hope you at least found it interesting. Alright, have fun.